Wrong way tragedy in Epping, New Hampshire. A Townsend police sergeant and his wife were killed when they were hit by another car on Route 101. That sergeant had just retired last summer, but he stayed connected and active with his department. On WBZ's Katie Brace is live tonight outside Townsend Police Headquarters where the department, Katie, is grieving. Well, Liam and Paula, the Black Bunting is up here as Townsend copes with their loss. One of their police officers who recently retired and his wife were killed by a driver violating the law. Sergeant John Johnson spent his career with the Townsend Police Department and recently retired. Late Thursday night, police say a wrong way driver killed Johnson and his wife Heidi. He was a great guy, um, always doing stuff for the community. Inga Bro, like many in town, knew Johnson for decades. Unfortunately, 40 years on the, on the department, and to have this happen is, is just awful. This was the scene on Route 101 in Epping, New Hampshire. Police believe the driver of the pickup was impaired. That driver made a U-turn into oncoming traffic, slamming into the Johnson's Chevy Impala. He did just about everything that had to be done in this police department. Johnson used to specialize in accident reconstruction, called to horrible crashes like the one that took his life. But his name also brings up fond memories of his annual gig as chef at the Seniors Barbecue. 40 years of his life to serve this community. And he was a great guy. Those Johnson touched left flowers outside the department. Inside, his fellow officers created their tribute. Johnson retired in July, and he was still a reserve officer. It's just a tragic uh, event that happened last night, so, so short after his retirement. Johnson and his wife lived in New Hampshire, where friends say he helped raise Heidi's kids. But part of his heart was always here in Townsend, and he will remain in theirs. He'll be missed. He, John will be missed. The wrong way driver, 31 year old Ryan Kittridge, is in the hospital. About four years ago, he was found guilty of a DUI. Police are looking at charges in this case now. Reporting live in Townsend, Katie Brace, WBC News. Katie, thank you.